everyone. Welcome to the Trinity Studios YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to set up artwork for screen printing. In this video I'll be covering spot colors, trapping, underbases, registration marks, and printing the actual separations. To begin, open up a new document. The size doesn't really matter. I'll just use the default 8.5 by 11. The color mode you want is CMYK. CMYK is for printing. RGB is for monitors and screens and stuff like that. So create your new document. I have one set up right here and what you want to do is either copy and paste your artwork that you want screen printed or design your own artwork. Today I have two shapes here that I want to print out, two color print. And the first thing you want to do is change your colors to spot colors. Now these are in CMYK colors as you can see up here they're actually combinations of colors what we want to do is use spot colors instead of CMYK colors spot colors are specific colors instead of using multiple colors to obtain that color if you are working with a screen printer I would advise to ask them for the color swatches in spot colors so you could use their colors and know, you know what colors it's going to turn out to um, in my case I work for a screen printing shop so I have my color swatches here if you don't and you can't obtain that I would just go into swatch library and go into your color books and get your Pantones Pantones will be spot colors just like this so what you want to do now is fill your objects with the spot colors so this one I'm going to change to what I have is scarlet and then this one I'm going to change to a yellow now that I have the artwork set up here with spot colors you can see in your swatches you have the two specific colors here and if you go up to the colors you can see their name of the swatch here the next thing I would do is advise to go to your separations preview menu if you go to window and you go to separations preview you could open up this little dialog box and just put that off to the side now if you click overprint preview it's going to show you everything that's for screen printing separation. So if you turn off CMYK, this is what you have left in your artwork. Now you have your scarlet and then your yellow. So if I turn off scarlet, this is what I have printing out. And if I turn off yellow, this is what I have printing out. Now that'll show you your separations. And if you click over print preview, it'll get rid of that and you'll go back to your normal artwork. Now that we have our artwork set up in spot colors, the next thing you want to do is set up trapping. Trapping is the use of overlapping colors. As you can see, we have two colors here. When the printer sets up this job, he lines the colors up based on registration marks. Now right here I have registration marks on the top and bottom. Let me zoom out to show you. Registration marks are basically little crosshairs and they print on each film so when the printer lines up the screens he lines them based on the crosshairs in the circle to line it all up as a designer I wouldn't recommend putting registration marks on the artwork as the printer will put those on the way he wants to put them on but it's still good to know what the registration marks are so in case they do want that on you can put them on no problem so back to trapping if you go back to your original artwork, I'll zoom out to show you the artwork here, we have overlapping colors here. Now if we don't use trapping and they're slightly off with their lining up, you'll end up with your garment showing in between. So what we do is we create the object slightly larger so when they line them up they have a little buffer room where they can be slightly off and you still won't see any of the issues so to accomplish this what we do is we create a one to two point stroke on the overlapping object so you're going to select that object go to your stroke and add the stroke now i'm going to create a 1.5 point stroke and you can see it's slightly bigger and what you want to do is object path 
and you want to outline the stroke as a path. Now, if you go to Window, Pathfinder, and I have it open right here. If you go to the first one, it's called Unite, and you click that, now it creates it one shape. So now if I zoom in here, you can see it's overlapping. What you want to do is Object, Arrange, and you want to send that behind this red so you don't see that overlapping. Now if I click this red one, and I go to Transparency, and I lower the opacity, you could see the overlapping that's occurring around the whole object. So now if I bring that back up, zoom out, you have trapping. The next thing you want to do is create an underbase. Underbases are used for printing on dark garments. If you do not use a, an underbase, when you print, your colors won't be vibrant. They'll look kind of like a vintage look. And if you're looking for that look, then you won't need an underbase. But if you wanted a nice, vibrant color, you have to use an underbase. Creating an underbase is really simple. To start off, I'm going to zoom out so you can see the artwork. What you want to do is you want to select all your artwork. And then you want to do is copy. And you want to paste. So now you have a copy of it. Now with your Pathfinder window open, you want to click Unite. This creates one solid piece. I'm going to fill it with white because we're printing a white underbase. Now printing an underbase, you want to make sure that the white doesn't show when they're lining it up and printing it. So to make sure it's not showing, you want to go to your stroke and you want to make it a stroke about one to two points again and you could see it's slightly smaller with that stroke if you go to object path and you outline that stroke and now in your pathfinder instead of going to unite you want to click minus front and then what that does is that that cuts the stroke out of that path now if I zoom in you could see it's slightly smaller than the, the objects and when screen printing the inks when they hit the shirt it spreads a little bit so you want to make sure you're not showing the the white through the image so now that it's slightly smaller you want to do is object arrange and send backward and then you want to do that again so you're completely behind your artwork now if I clicked our artwork and I go to transparency and bring that down. If I zoom in here, you'll see the, the underbase behind it is slightly smaller. And that's exactly what you want. Zoom in out. So now you have an underbase and your artwork. So if I go over here, zoom in, if I select that, I'm just going to move it around. So you have an underbase there. So you have three screens technically. You have a white that's going to print, you have a yellow, and you have a red. Now that you have trapping and underbasing, your image is ready for print. Now majority of the time, just sending this file, an EPS or a PDF version of this file to the printer is just what they need. But if they come to you and say, can you print the separations for us, this is how you do it. So you go to File, Print. When the printer dialog box pops up, change your printer to Adobe PDF. Now you want to go to Output. Output, you want to change the mode to Separations Host Based. Now you'll see under here you document inks. Now your process, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, CMYK are there and they shouldn't be selected if you're using spot colors and that's where spot colors come in handy now process black is selected because I have a black background simulating the black shirt so you want to uncheck that now you have your yellow scarlet and white so uncheck the ones you're not going to print out first so in our case we're just going to print and our yellow so you want to go to print and you're going to get a box saying where do you want to save the PDF? So we're going to save it to the desktop as 
yellow one or two. And once this finishes, you're going to have a PDF pop up with the separation of just the yellow. Now it's just going to come out as a black grayscale image. Now that's because when the, the printer prints it to a, a film, he then burns that onto a screen using a light sensitive emulsion. Now if it's a different color, then you're not going to get a full solid. So here we go. We have the PDF opened and we have just the yellow. Now we want to repeat that for the red. So now we want to go to File, Print again. Now the settings should be all set up, PDF, so you want to go to Output. Now you want to uncheck everything but Scarlet. Print, and we're going to change this to red. Now once this finishes, we'll have the red as well. Okay, so now the PDF is up. Now we have the red here. So now what we want to do is print the underbase. So now this time, now since the underbase isn't showing, the separations won't print that. So now if you select your design, you go to Object, Hide, Selection, now you just have your underbase. So now you want to go to Print, and we're going to print the underbase your output, uncheck process black, and you'll see just white is selected because that's the only thing in your image. So now you want to go to print, same thing, you want to save it under base and save that. Okay, so here is the white under base. So now when you go to the printer you could send him the yellow, the red, and the under base and he'll be able to put them on a film put them on the screens and print them out perfectly. So this is how you would set up your artwork for screen printing as well as making the separations for the screen printer as well. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe for more videos.